Let's get started with Raptor. When you start it up, you'll get two windows. The first, you'll get a master console window on the right here. That's the window where you're going to see the output of your programs. And then in this window, you'll, you'll see a section with symbols. These are the symbols that we will use to create our programs. A computer program is a sequence of instructions to the computer. And we can create programs using these symbols. Each one of these delivers some instructions to the computer. This window is where we're going to develop our program. But currently it's set for UML. We don't want that. We want the main tab. If you, if you uh, notice here, you can switch back and forth between the so-called UML view and the main view. We want the main view. We have a toolbar at the top here where we can control our programs. And of course, we have a menu. Well, here's the way your programs will look in Raptor. Every flowchart has a start and an end. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert instructions using symbols in between the start and the end. The start and the end symbols traditionally are ovals as shown here. We're going to write a first program called Hello World, which is going to output the, the text Hello World. That's traditionally what programmers do when they start a new programming language. So let's try it. If you select the output symbol in the symbols box. You'll notice it turns red. You can then drag it over to the program area and drop it on the arrow in between the start and the end. Your output symbol is a parallelogram. You'll notice that it has an arrow going out from it. So that is a reminder to you that this is the output symbol. Uh, you don't actually normally get that in a, in a uh, flowchart. That's another nice feature of Raptor. Okay, well what are we going to output? Let's double click on that and you'll get a dialog box popping up in which you can specify what you want the output to be. Raptor is quite user friendly. It helps you out by letting you know the parameters that are required for entering input. For example, if you want some words or text, you have to enclose it in quotes and there's a reminder to that right here. If however you want to output a variable, something we'll talk about in the very near future, you don't put it inside uh, quotes. If you want a combination of words and variable, you put the words inside quotes. We call that a string in programming. And you don't put the variable inside quotes. And you put a connector, a plus sign, in between the two different types of data. We call these data types. String data type and a variable data type. And we have a special one here called an array that we'll talk about a little later in the course. All right, well, we want to output a string, so I'm going to have to put it inside quotes. So I'll try hello world, put that inside quotes. And if I want this to be uh, the end of the line, I'll leave this checked, and I do want that. So I'm just going to hit done here. Uh, it's going to prompt me to save, so I will save it. I'm going to save it on my desktop, and I'm going to call it hello world. You'll notice that Raptor appends a .rap file name extension. That's so you can identify your Raptor files on your system. All right, we'll save that. And you'll notice here that once we've done that, it, you'll see that it, we have put. That means output. Output, hello world. And then we have a symbol here that indicates that we selected the uh, end of line. That's your paragraph symbol that you're probably familiar with from Microsoft Word. All right, to run this, we can run it right here by clicking on this arrow. Let's try it. When we do, you'll see a green indicator advance through your symbols as you run it. And here's the output over here. Hello world. So success. We've written our first program in Raptor. And we've already saved it as well. We could do more. We could add other output symbols. We could select an output symbol here. And instead of dragging it in, once that's selected in red, I can just hover over the arrow underneath my uh, first output symbol, tap my mouse, and I'll insert whatever is selected here will get inserted when you tap the arrow in the program. Now you'll notice the program has an arrow that runs from top to bottom. That's what a program does. A program has a start and an end, and it executes a series of instructions in a particular order. Okay you can just as easily delete like that. 